Hello and welcome to physicscatalyst.com. We already know that electric charge is a fundamental or intrinsic property of fundamental particles. And there are two types of electric charges namely positive and negative charge. Now there are three ways to transfer electrons to charge an object and they are friction conduction and induction and this video is about charging by friction or rubbing and frictional electricity now rubbing as the term suggests is moving two things back and forth against each other the simplest way to experience electric charge is to rub certain bodies among each other now this rubbing of friction makes electrons move this gives one material a positive charge and the other a negative charge the charges stay on the surface of the material until they can flow or they get discharged so whenever there is friction between materials that vary in their capacity to give up or gain electrons the electrons can be transferred in this manner that is through friction now if we pass a comb through dry hairs the comb becomes electrically charged and can attract small pieces or bits of paper now this is because the comb might have lost its electrons or have acquired some electrons when we rub it with dry hairs now this comb is a charged body the net charge on the comb interacts with the net charge on small bits of paper which results in attraction now many such solid materials are known which on rubbing attract light objects like light feather bits of paper uh light straws etc let us take another example of glass rod and silk cloth now if we rub this glass rod with a silk cloth then silk cloth extracts electron from the glass rod and gets negatively charged as a result this glass rod becomes positively charged because of loss of electrons similarly there are many such materials which gets electrically charged when they are rubbed against each other for example when we rub a woolen cloth with ebonite a very hard rubber rod then this wooden cloth becomes positive and this ebonite rod becomes negative in charge now explanation of appearance of electric charge on rubbing is simple now material bodies consist of large number of electrons and protons in equal number and they are neutral in their normal state but when a glass rod is rubbed with a silk cloth electrons are transferred from glass rod to silk cloth as a result the glass rod becomes positively charged and silk cloth become 
negatively charged because it has received extra electrons from the glass rod now in this case glass rod after rubbing and comb after passing through dry hairs become electrified and these are the examples of frictional electricity it is important to note here that by friction only non metallic bodies can be charged the reason is that in a metal or a conductor the charges are free to move inside the material now if you add charge in one of the part of conducting material the other charges will automatically rearrange to neutralize the charge now in non metals or non conductors the charges that you put on the surface of the object by rubbing stays there as there is no rearrangement that is taking place this is because the charge of an insulator do not move freely inside the material so i hope that you understand what is charging by friction this is it for now thanks for watching